Thank you all for joining me on the IBR show today. And if you are new to the family, welcome. Here we talk about human psychology. We give health tips DIY. We promote moral values and personal development through our shows and interview. And also we promote brand's visibility and of course lifestyle with IBIS show. So please join the family, join the community. Click the subscribe button and the notification button. I have some questions for you. When was the last time you had your pap smell done? One year, two years, or you have never had it done? Are you 21 years old and above for your sexually active and you've never had your pap smell done? What about after having your babies? Did you go back for a pelvic check or did you go back for a pap smell? Well, some of the signs and symptoms of cervical cancer often present itself as the normal adverse effects that we would get for, from hormonal drugs for prevention of pregnancy. So it's a little bit tricky in this video today and on the show today. I'll be talking about the signs, symptoms and possible prevention of cervical cancer. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. The symptoms of cervical cancer one irregular menstrual period maybe you are the type that would always have it you know regular it's 20 it's going to come 20 it's 15 it's going to come 15 but unfortunately or something happened along the way and it becomes so ir irregular so you might need to see your doctor Pain during sexual intercourse. You suddenly started having pains when you're having, when you're with your spouse. There might be time for you to go see your doctor. Longer or heavier period. Maybe usually you often use maybe one part, two part, but suddenly increases to two to three parts in an hour, even two parts in an hour or longer period, it used to be three three days, but now it's five days, now it's six days. Mm, there might be need for you to go see your doctor. Persistent or unexplainable pelvic pain and back pain. So go see your doctor. Heavier vagina discharge, maybe. Usually we all have this little milky thing coming out during our ovulation, but right now it's becoming so smelly, it's becoming heavier than usual, then you need to go see your doctor. Spotting or you're seeing blood during or after sexual intercourse, which normally you would not have, and then you might need to go see your doctor. Now, what are the possible prevention of cervical cancer? The first one is taking of HPV vaccine, so human papilloma virus vaccine, which is usually between the ages of 11 and 12. Um, some studies shows that you can still take it and you'll still be fine between the ages of 26 up to 26 so even 50 why some study says no that's not right is not is not safe for you to have it done after 26 years old whichever way so many of us we miss that chance of getting ourselves vaccinated at that period of time so if you have younger kids if you have younger children once they get to that age kindly follow up with your doctor so that they can have themselves vaccinated even if you missed it as a parent the second one is you have to have your regular checkup your regular checkup a uh, timely appropriate pap smell done every year or every other year depending on what your doctor says unfortunately some cervical cancer are so they are so some type of cervical cancer are so aggressive so it doesn't matter if you're having it done or you're not having your pap smell done they still occurs anyway and that is why it is essential for us to familiarize ourselves with cervical cancer signs and the symptom if you have any of those symptoms that i've mentioned earlier go see your doctor and talk about it before it spreads outside and spread to other part of your body thank you all so much thank you 
for watching this video today please share it with family share it with friends let them learn and let them get themselves screened for cervical cancer so go screen yourself for cervical cancer and do not forget to have your complete physical done thank you remember that i love you and i will always always love you bye for now